In this video, I'll finish setting up the horse camp section of the site by adding a Google map and creating a process for visitors to enter information and submit camps for addition to the site. Styleware's K2 Google Maps is a commercial plugin for K2 and is available from styleware.eu. You can purchase and download the plugin, install it through the extension manager, Go to the Plugin Manager, enable the plugin, select the categories you'd like to use for the map. There are many settings you can customize, including the width for item and category views, whether directions are available, the type of map displayed, and the icon color. Some of these settings can be overridden with settings at the item level. Now I'll need to edit the camp items. Scroll down below the text editor. You'll find a new section where you can fill in the information for the location to be used on the Google Map for this item. These settings are using the default values from the plugin. You can change any of those items here if you'd like for this particular item. I'll go ahead and enter address for each of these camps. The camps menu item is set to display all the writing camp categories. So each item in those categories with a valid address will have an icon shown on the map in category view. When you go to the item view of any camp, you'll see only that item's address on the map. The last thing to add for the writing camps is user submissions. I'll use JEK2Story to accomplish that. K2Story is a commercial component available from JoomlaExtensions.co.in. Install the component from the Extension Manager. Go to the Settings page for the component. There are two settings here that require K2 items to be created. One is used to specify terms and conditions. The other is a redirect page that will be shown when the user submits an item through the front end. I already created K2 items for each of these. This item or article will be displayed when a camp form is submitted, and this is the Terms and Conditions item. So back to the K2 Story settings, enter a title, set Yes to show the category in the front end, select a list of categories that the user can choose from, I'll select the State Writing Camp categories. I'll select my K2 item that I created for Terms and Conditions and the item for the redirect page. I'd like to be notified by email when a form is submitted, so I'll set that to Yes and enter an email address. I'll show a CAPTCHA on the form, allow the Terms and Conditions. This option allows you to control whether only registered users can post to the site or whether anyone can. I'll leave this at no to allow anyone to submit an item. I want to manually approve each submission so I'll leave auto published at no. I'll set the username and email to yes. In this section you can modify the content of the email sent to the user on submission as well as the email sent to the email notification address that I specified above. I'll save and close the settings. In order for users to be able to submit a camp, I need to create a menu item that calls the K2 Story component. I added a menu called Submit a Camp with one menu option. The menu type for this option is the JEK2Story 
K2 Submit. Then we need a module to display the menu. I created a module of menu type, assigned it to the Submit a Camp menu. It will display in the right column on the camp's pages. Here you can see the menu with the Add Your Camp menu option. The user will enter a name and an email address and a title for their article or their camp. Select a category will allow them to choose the state for their camp. Once the category is selected, the extra fields for that category will be displayed. The description of their camp can be entered in the text window. They can click the Choose File button to upload an image. If you've selected the option to display the terms and conditions, they can click the link to view these terms, check that box, enter the CAPTCHA code, and click Submit. Now we're redirected to the K2 article that I created for Camp Submission Complete. Here's the email the person submitting the form would receive, and here's the admin email. Once you receive the email notification, you can go to the K2 Items page and review the content. The Google Map fields don't appear on the K2 Story form, but there's an address field in Extra Fields, so the information could be easily copied from there and paste it into the Google Maps address field. I'll publish this item and save it. Now we can see that it appears on the front end of the site. By using K2 with the Google Maps plugin and the K2 Story component, I created a writing camp directory that's more useful to site visitors. It also made it easier for the site administrator since users can generate some of the content for the site.